Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video and today I'll be going over the platform algoexpert.io and I'll be sharing some personal tips that'll help me to use this platform more effectively to become a software engineer at Google Before we dive right into the tips I would just like to mention that the effectiveness of the platform can vary with the amount of time that you have left so as I go along with the tips I will tell you how to adjust those tips with the amount of time that you have left for your upcoming interview So let's just start off with the tips and coming at number 1 I would like to mention that I personally attempted the questions in their order of difficulty so going from easy questions to harder questions so if we're looking at the algo expert platform we can see over here that there is the option to group by difficulty and as you guys can see I have attempted all of the easy questions then I went on to the medium questions and then I went on to attempt the harder questions and why this is really effective is that the easier questions contain a lot of fundamentals that are repeated across the harder questions so by doing the easier questions you're actually making it easier for yourself to attempt the harder questions now this is a technique that worked personally for me a lot of my friends have used other techniques as well such as attempting three easy questions two medium questions and one hard question so i would like to recommend that you should experiment with your own approach and do what is really best for you another approach that you can take is attempting the question questions by their category and as you can see over here we have the option to group by category and it provides us the questions according to their topics now this is really useful especially if you're closer to your interview maybe if there are like 2 to 1 week left to your interview you can use this option to prepare your weaker topics so start by doing the topics that you are weak in but i would also recommend you not to ignore the topics that you are comfortable in because sometimes a question from that topic can surprise you within an interview surprise mother One other approach that you can take and this was actually taken by a friend of mine is that they started off by doing easier data structures such as arrays and then they progressively moved on to harder data structures such as tries. I would also like to note over here that the questions within algo expert not necessarily fall under strictly one category because in a lot of questions such as for example the graph question you're also going to be tested on recursion and other topics such as hash map so a single question will test you on a variety of topics another tip that worked really well for me is that if i had more time before an upcoming interview for example 3 weeks or more than that then i would try to struggle through the problem allotting each problem maybe 1 and a half to 2 hours maximum and trying to get through it because that would really allow me to see the patterns for myself to face the technicalities and to get comfortable with that topic and similar kind of problem but i would recommend that if you're closer to your interview for example 1 to 2 weeks then you should time yourself for easier questions i used to time I myself for 25 minutes and for harder ones I would do maybe like 40 minutes because in a real interview you would be given a 45 minute interview so I take off 5 minutes for asking the interviewer some questions so realistically you're given about 40 minutes to solve the question another great thing that worked for me is to use the hint section that is available on the platform because that mimics a real life interview experience because in an interview you would work with your interviewer and they would provide you with some hints so whenever you're getting blocked try to unblock yourself by using those hints i would recommend to use as less of hints as possible because you would want to do that in a real life setting as well and also do not read hint 3 before hint 1 because hint 3 would basically give you the solution this big brain time another important aspect to consider is that if you have more time before your interview then you can run your code and try to debug it as you're writing your code but if you have less time let's say a week or two then you should definitely not do that what you should do is that you should write your solution in one go and then run it and then if some of the test cases fail you should not look at the test cases rather you should try to fix it by just going through your code because in a real life interview setting you would not be given test cases you would not even be given the option to run your code so you would have to go through your code and figure out what's going wrong so that would really help you to imitate a real life interview setting and to crack your interview in a better way now following from that tip this tip is really important because a lot of people tend to ignore it because after solving the question after seeing that green tick on the the platform your urge to move on to the next question but do not skip the space complexity analysis because that's a very important part of the coding interview after you're done writing your code go through your code and do the space complexity analysis once you're done with that compare it with that which is given on the platform and if they do not match then there is a good probability that yours is less optimal so try to come up with a better solution and that would really help you to think about various solutions and space complexity now my last tip for you would be 
that if you're stuck on a problem for a lot of time and you can't unblock yourself even after you have read the hints, then try to read the solution that is posted by the authors for each question. Try to go through it, see the pattern, see the approach that the author took and try to understand it deeply. If you cannot do that, then try going through the video explanations because the video explanations go through in depth about the approach, about the space complexity analysis and the various technicalities that are involved within the question. I personally used to watch the videos at 2x speed and I would watch the first 10 to 15 minutes which would usually be the explanation of the approach and then once I understood the approach I would just directly go into the IDE and try to write the solution myself. So that is pretty much the tips that I had for you today. I hope that you found some of them to be insightful and I hope that they help you in your future recruiting journey. If you enjoyed watching this video then make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so I would really appreciate if you subscribe and show some support and as always see you guys in the next video